Yeah, I ain't tryna wait. I can't be fucked with no. Oh, you can't touch this. Hey, bitch, I do rich shit, huh? My money thick, hey, hey. Walk with a limp, limp, huh? I'm on some pimp shit, hey. He say you all about money, yeah. I'm on that cash shit. Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and the company I'll be working with today is Lamona Hair. Right now, I'm just going to show you the box. Um, on the back, you'll see the QR codes, and it'll tell you that it is 100% human hair. Inside your packaging, you'll receive your frontal, your bundles, your wig cap, and an e-wig band. They sent me over a 20-inch 13x4 Waterwave frontal and four bundles of 34-inch of their Waterwave texture. The frontal does come pre-plugged and the lace is a light brown. It also comes with some pre-made baby hairs. And as you all know, I'm not a big fan of water wave hair, but this was some good ass water wave hair. Um, it's four bundles. This hair was really thick. Like I had to like literally like try to um, what's the word? I had to try to like smudge all four bundles in there because the the bundles really do come thick, and you'll see that once you get this hair. So yeah, um, the hair was soft. It wasn't giving me much shedding. And I definitely wanted to leave this hair in the natural state because I know water wave hair, when you wet it down, it appears to look thinner. And I hate that look. That's why I'm not a big fan of water wave hair. So we're definitely going to leave it in the texture it comes straight out the box. So now I'll go ahead and apply my Ruby Kiss um, foundation on her cap. And we'll also apply that same makeup on her frontal and um, spray that frontal with freeze spray. And now we're going to clean and protect the skin. Um, to clean, we use our 91% alcohol first. And uh, you want to clean that skin really well, especially if you got a lot of excess makeup on the skin while applying it to the ball cap. And then once that fully dries, which it won't take long at all, just a few seconds, then we're going to go back and um, put some of that ball hole skin protect on the skin. It's an um, antiperspirant, or however you say that word. Um, it um, blocks sweat so it helps your lace stay down longer and it also protects the skin so yeah whatever kind of glue you use you definitely want to use a skin protected um with that same brand because these glues can be harsh to the skin and right now i'm showing you that um i already have her cap on and her net on because today we'll be doing a frontal sewing and that is the frontal after i bleached the knots then i'm going to go ahead and um apply the makeup like i said previously and then we're going to um show you how we position the frontal on her head and proceed to sew it down.
So first how I position the front on the head, I bring all of the um, hairline of the frontal in front of her cap. No matter if it's way, way in front of her cap or not, I bring every single piece in front of the cap because you do not want your cap showing like in front of the hairline because that's not how you do it. And I part the hair down the middle just to keep, um, make sure everything is symmetrical. And then I let, I tell her to let one hand go and I pinch from the middle and pull it tightly um, down the sides to make sure that back is flat. And I also make sure that front is still in front of the cap. And then we also do that on the same side. That way you don't have any bubbles in your frontal and your frontal lays flat. I hope you understood what I was saying. Um, yeah. So now we're just gonna proceed to sew the back of the frontal. I go middle down to one side and go back to the middle and do the other side. This way you can, um, that way you can ensure you don't have any bubbles in your frontal. Your frontal lays flat and um, everything is good and secure into place. And you'll know you did your frontal right or you um, sewed it down correctly when your back is flat and also that your front lays flat too. Unlike your um, frontal wig, once you get done sewing down the frontal on a frontal sewing, your front should be laying flat as well. You shouldn't have any bubbles in the front when you're doing a frontal sewing, but when you're doing a frontal wig, you know. Anyway, but we're gonna stick to the frontal sewing. You see how that lays flat in the front? That's how you know you're doing a frontal sewing. So now what we're about to do is just cut out her ear tabs and then we're gonna proceed to glue down the hair. And don't mind my cousin Raven's facial expressions. Honey, that child right there. So I'm serious. Anyway, we're using Boho Active. We're gonna use three layers. And um, after we apply our first layer, we're gonna smooth it down with the popsicle stick. And then we're gonna proceed to start sewing in our hair. Like I told y'all in previous videos, um, you wanna definitely um, work smarter and not harder. While your glue is drying, you can be sewing in the bundles while each layer is drying. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. And you'll see. And make sure you sew that first track underneath that bottom braid. That way, if they want to pull the hair into a full ponytail, they can without any braid showing.
And now, um, after we finished sewing that first one on the end, we went ahead and applied a third layer. And now that that layer is dry, we're gonna proceed to push that frontal down. You wanna push it directly um, onto that glue, and you're gonna use the back of your comb to help you to help you smooth it down, and get your client to help you hold it into place. And we're gonna go ahead and blow dry this frontal to melt it down with cool air. You don't want to use hot air because hot air will heat up the glue and um, it won't cause it to dry. It will just cause it to heat up. So, yeah. Also, if I didn't mention off camera, I did go ahead and bleach the knives and go behind the original pre pluck hairline and pluck some more just to give it a more natural, um, flawless look. And now um, we're going to proceed to cut off that excess lace using our eyebrow razor. And then we're going to um, touch up that frontal with a little bit more makeup to make sure everything is blending. And then we're going to spray the frontal with free spray and then tie it down using our elastic band. And then proceed to continue um, sewing in our bundles. And once we get done sewing in the bundles, you'll see that that frontal is fully melted down.
and this is all the hair after we finished sewing it in. We um, we smudged all four bundles in there, and that texture is very beautiful. So now we're gonna take that elastic band off, and then we're gonna um, cover those tracks in the back with a piece of the frontal. We're gonna smooth that down using our wax stick and our hot comb. And we're also gonna smooth um, down her part, and today she'll be wearing a middle part. So now we're about to proceed to do our baby hairs. Um, we're just gonna part out a thin row across the entire um, hairline, except for in the um, dead middle where her part is, because we're not doing the center swoop today. We're just gonna do swoops on both sides of the part, but not in front of the part. And uh, we're gonna hot comb those four, and then we're gonna cut those down, and then we're gonna swoop them into place using our Nairobi um, foam.
And I like to use two wrap strips when tying down my hair. The first one I lay, um, I just tie it the regular way. But the second one I fold it and tie it down. That way to just make sure that um, we're applying pressure to make sure the baby hairs are not moving as they're dry. Um, as they dry. Um, the wrap strips they're strong, but they're not that that strong. So that's why I take that second one and fold it just to apply more pressure to make sure um everything is locked into place and also if you lift your lace by mistake this will help push it back down while it's drying she will go up on the dryer for about um about 20 minutes just to make sure everything is dry um on high and um before she goes up on the dryer um we're just going to define those curls a little bit at the top and the back um the front part of the front we're going to do a style and you'll see that in a few seconds but for the back i'm just going to take a little bit of cream and nature mousse and to find those curls that got frizzy at the top due to me hot combing. Um, once again, I will not be wetting down this hair because water wave hair likes to get um, thin when you wet it and I don't like that look. So I'm just trying to do a little bit of defining at the top, nothing too major, nothing too heavy. And um, yeah.
Now we're going ahead and make sure that frontal is completely dry. We're just going back with a little few um, shots of cool air. And then we're going to cut those wrap strips off. And then we're going to proceed to um, comb out those baby hairs to make them look more soft. And off camera, I went ahead and um, applied her lashes and did her eyebrows. Um, if you want me to do an eyebrow tutorial or show you how to do my do my eyebrows or my client's eyebrows, you know, because I'm not a makeup artist at all, just let me know in the comments below. But now I'm just um, coming out her baby hairs, and um, once we finish doing that, we're gonna free spray the entire hairline just to make sure everything is locked into place and everything isn't moving all over the place. And then we're going to proceed to start styling this hair. We're going to do two braids, um, um, a braid going down each side of the part. And then we're going to add some hair jewelry. Um, I was inspired by um, So Shara Hair here on YouTube. Um, she did a similar style and I was like, yeah, I definitely got to try that. So yeah, just stay tuned and um, the finishing product will be loading soon. Thank you. 
And I have to finish off every style of my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray just to give the hair a beautiful gloss and shine. Once again, this is Lamona Hair Water Wave Hair, a 20 inch frontal and four bundles of 34 inch. I did this frontal sewing with this cute bohemian braid style and I hope you guys love it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and turn on your notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.